Guys, we are at Prairie Deuce Hack again. Definitely for walleye, we got a Magnum Fathead on the line. We're gonna toss it out. Now, right now, as you can see, there's some like uh, pole holders right there that someone left behind and they're stuck in the ground. I tried pulling them out, not that strong. and I don't think most people could. While it's really nice to have ready set pole holders here, um, I would just like to say to uh, please take your stuff with you because it is kind of trash and uh, we don't want trash here. So yeah, please clean up after yourself, but nice for right now. You might always wonder why I fish at this spot. It's because there's a snag line somewhere out there. I don't exactly know where, but it extends all the way down there. Surprisingly, like right at this block thing, there's not as many snags, or I don't really get snagged as often, as long as the water's not too high, which it isn't right now. I'd rather have it be a little bit lower and the current be a little weaker, but can't have everything. I think this might actually be a fish instead of just current because it has that dip of a fish. Oh, that's a fish. That's a big fish. Now it's not super big, it's in current. I don't think it's a sturgeon. It could be. I'm looking for a walleye. But it seems a little big for an eye. Let's see what I get here. Minnow. This is the Wolf of the Rig Minnow. Okay, it's getting bigger. Okay, it's, it's feeling a little bit like a sturge now. This is, these are weak hooks, so I'm hoping it's not. I really want a big walleye. Maybe a muskie would be all right as well, but I think this is feeling more and more like a sturgeon, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah what does it take to get a walleye over here? Maybe it's a flathead, but no, nope, I, I think that's a sturgeon. I don't feel like a huge one though. It does not feel like a huge one, but it, I think it is a sturgeon. Come on. I can't, I can't be too gratuitous with these hooks. But that does feel like a sturgeon now. Oh, my shoulder blades are already hurting. And I know he's a long way out because this one's far. I don't think I already see him actually. But dang, man, the wolf of a rig, and you know, I thought this would be walleye for sure, but no, I was like, not braced in for a long, big fight yet. I actually might lose it, because like I say, I was like, the hook's pretty weak. The tiny, crappy Aberdeen hooks do not uh, really do not work well with sturgeon. But, okay, this is, this is bigger than I thought. This is definitely bigger than I thought. He's just staying at the bottom, he's not coming up. He is not wanting to come up. Oh, man. Oh, it's probably like a 20 pounder, if not more. I think it actually feels more than 20. There it is. I saw the silhouette in the water. Well, that's not a big one. So, it's a sturgeon, but it's it's actually quite small. That's well, like a 30 incher. Not what I was, not the fish I'm going for, but I'll take it. I think that's a 30 incher or so. I'll take it. I'll take it. But not what I'm looking for. Not what I am looking for. And the wolf of a rig is supposed to keep these off the bottom. So something like this doesn't actually uh, hook, but I guess it doesn't work. There's too many of them here. It's a little bigger than I thought. It's a 40 incher Lake Sturgeon. Not bad, not bad for a start. Was going with a wolf every rig with a minnow for walleyes, but uh, these things keep biting. Sturgeon. You know, you think a wolf river rig that keeps the bait off the bottom will prevent these from biting? But nope, still bite. All right, see you, Sturgeon. Let's get you back in the water here. Let him resuscitate a little bit. And get him a little bit deeper here. He probably can just go on off by himself. Well, he's getting stuck on the rock, but we can just... So he's getting stuck on the rock over there. There he is, he found his way. I think he's good, there he goes. There he goes, Lake Sturgeon. All right, we got another uh, minnow on the Wolf River here. 
hopefully we get a right species this time. I mean, I don't mind catching those, but I want to catch something else at the dam. I've caught a lot of those at the dam. And I would like to catch something that's not a sturgeon. If it was a flathead, I wouldn't mind. By the way, this place does close for catfishing uh, from December until May. So I'll probably just be throwing a bunch of Lindy rigs for walleye here when I come here uh, in December. Really hoping that as night comes, we'll get more walleye bites. Cause uh, yeah, that's what these rigs are set up to do. And I have the Aberdeen hooks, which are meant to catch the walleyes, but they're just not biting. I caught actually two down at the bridge over there and two at Sauk City Beach, but it does not seem like they're here right now. You guys might not be able to see it, but there's like about a billion gizzard chat in the shallows. And that could actually have something to do with the predatory fish not biting because there's so much food because they're running up here. If Wisconsin allowed cast nets, I'd probably just chuck a couple in there and I'd get like 20 gizzard chad. But yeah, they're on their run right now. They're all around the shore. I believe I have a fish on here. That's a fish. Is that a sturgeon or a walleye? I don't know. All right, it's feeling like a big one again. What? Aren't there walleyes here? I mean, aren't there supposed to be walleyes here? I feel like a sturgeon, honestly. Not a gigantic one, but probably like the yeah, it's a sturgeon. But I mean, I thought minnows on these rigs that, oh, this is a bigger one, feels bigger. But like, I thought minnows on wolf river rigs are supposed to catch walleyes. Rigged it up that way specifically so it avoids bottom. But I guess there's too many of them here. Uh, if I can get them up, yeah. This is a small hook for walleyes. So we might just bend it. I don't think I don't think this is a super small one either. I figured there'd be more eyes here, but there's not. I caught a couple down at Fox City and then a couple at the bridge over there. Uh, is that bring it? I'll just bring that up later. Did I get stuck? Yeah, I got stuck, didn't I? But no, is that just a fish? Yeah, I think that might I think I got stuck. There was a fish out there, but I think I just got stuck. No, I don't know. I got stuck. No. Uh, kinda got stuck. It's like I'm pulling on something, I'm not sure. I think I got that pole definitely. Okay. Yeah, I got stuck on something. I don't know what. Got himself out of it. But you can, you can kind of hear that it's on something though. Yeah, it's under something. But he's pulling. There it is. Okay, yeah, that wasn't. It's not a huge one. But got it. At least I got it unstuck. That's like a, like a, close to a 40 incher, and it's pretty close to a 40 incher. About the same size as the last one, not a huge one. But yeah, not bad, not bad. Maybe slightly bigger than the last one, actually. But yeah, about the same size. 45 inches sturgeon. Still not huge, but getting there, getting there. Alright, hold on. Got the sturgeon in the water. <sighs> kind of got to shove him on his way here. Should have used the boat ramp, but it's way over there and this guy's kind of heavy. Alright, let's, this guy just, there we go, there we go. He goes off. Don't really know why the walleye don't bite here. I mean, I've caught him at Teddy, down at the bridge, at, at the Sauk City Beach, but it just looks like it's only sturgeon here. And it's, uh, I mean, not horrible, but definitely not what I want. Let's just toss this back out there. Uh, there we go. Hopefully we can get a walleye. I think I might have a fish here. I was about to leave too. I'm pretty sure that is not just current. This might actually, this one might actually be pretty big, but it's definitely a fish. I think I'm gonna get on top of this rock to actually 
reel it in. Yeah, it's a fish. And I was hoping for one more before I left. But I'm getting it. I don't know if I can pull it in though. Seems pretty big. I think I can. I'm hope I'm just hoping it's a flathead. But considering everything else I've pulled in, it's probably a sturgeon. And I think it's a big one. I'm swapping the new battery. It's still on. This is a pretty big one actually. Gotta make sure I have enough drag. Just gotta tire it out. I shouldn't snag standing up here. Uh, trying to reel it in. I was hoping for one more and I got one more. This is not the good reel though. Oh, I see it. It's about the same size as all the others. About like 40, 45 inches probably. There we go. There it is, my friends. The ancient fish of doom. Very ancient and doomy. Right there, right there, the ancient fish of doom. This one's about like around 40. Like I said, not, not a huge one. Uh, definitely not like the size of the ones I caught last time, and I gotta. They're big enough not to be like thorny and scaly and stuff, but yeah, I'm just gonna let it go here. Push and not enough. Get your uh, sturgeon needs to get the bearings straight. Uh, it's tough because Freddy Sack has very, very. There we go, there it goes, there it goes. That was a challenge, but we got it, we got it. It's going back into the depth now. All right, I'm back in my car, going back home. I think the GoPro is like crapping out because it's too cold or something, never really got that before. But either way, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Got three sturgeon, no walleye. Didn't seem they were at the dam. And I got some at the Sox City Bridge and also like, the uh, Sock City Beach, but nothing here. So looks like only sturgeon here. Wasn't able to get any catfish. You might see this dam again before um, December because uh, there's only a limited amount of place I can go in the winter to actually get fish. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Check out the lower left corner for more Wisconsin River videos and I will see you guys later.